Look at this, guys, and let me show you briefly what we had before in white. Hello, guys, welcome to my channel. More amazing 3D printed stuff these days. Look at that. I have Petra in Jordan. Uh, this is the most popular tourist attraction in Jordan. Uh, actually, people believe it was built about approximately 500 years before Christ, BC. So, and this is a big, a big site. What we have here is called the Treasury. Uh, that's probably the most uh, popular building. You get there in like a, like in a small canyon, and then you see the building. It's very impressive. Uh, this was um, named in 1985 uh, by the UNESCO, a World Heritage, and in 2007 it was voted a new part of the new seven wonders of the world. And in 2019 there were 1.1 million visitors. Like I said the most popular tourist attractions in in Jordan and actually because of COVID-19 it is now empty uh, since March 2020 it's been empty so the government authorized uh, digs to take place or excavation to take place in front of the monument uh, they don't I didn't see anything in the articles I read but it's probably archaeological uh, excavations so you can download this file on my minifactory.com it's part of their uh, mini world 3d collection and as you can see i did three and, and i'm going to show you why first of all when you download the file and you open it in your slicer this is 100 percent so and it takes only let me check on my sheet here it takes only 40 grams of uh, filament and i had leftover of red and uh, this takes only 5 hours and 30 minutes with the parameters I put at the bottom of the screen here. And it's going to be the same parameters for the other two dimensions. But I did 100% first because this is printed, look at that here, this is printed like this, horizontal, not vertical because of the roof line over here of the rock. So it has to be printed horizontal. And you have columns over here. So these are unsupported horizontal line so I wanted to see first of all how how well this would print so when I saw how small this was I thought you know what I'll go to 150 percent uh, this takes only about 100 grams of plastic still not a lot but look at the columns over here they're longer approximately I would say like two centimeters and we still have uh, a good definition we're missing details over here so at this point I thought you know what I'm going to paint this the try to get a replica of the site which is kind of a yellow uh, red and a rose this is why the site is spectacular the rock is kind of a rosy uh, taint so I did 200 percent this takes uh, 238 grams of plastic and look at that here I'll try to move it here with, with the light. This is an amazing print, like highly recommended and no support. So look at the columns. They're quite long. Again, this was printed horizontal like that. And I got a very good, very good result. Uh, and again, I forgot to mention this was printed on my Ender 3 printer. So amazing highly recommended but what i want to do like i said i want to print a uh, print not to print i want to paint this scale to get a replica so i have here my yellow i have orange uh, red and i have a light brown i don't have a pink so i'll try to see if i can get the mix to get a color that would, that would be close to a pink and I'm going to use a darker color for the inside just again because of the shade so the inside would be darker the outside would be uh, lighter so um, I'll spend some time for the paint and I'll be back in a couple of days I am back a couple of days after and look at the look at the result look at that I think I deserve the Oscar in art design Oh, they don't have Oscars for 3D printing. Wow, it's too bad. I think I would win. Look at this, guys. And let me show you briefly what we had before in white. And this is after. 
quite uh, quite the change isn't it I'm quite happy with the with the result here mixing my orange yellow uh, red and I ended up uh, adding a bit of white and that gave me some kind of a uh, rosy uh, a pink uh, shade so uh, another nice uh, addition to my collection of uh, mini world uh, 3d or uh, special archaeological sites of of the world so guys tell me in the comments below what you think of this uh, print i think it's a great project especially that you can print without supports at different scales as i uh, showed you so thank you for watching and uh, until next time goodbye guys